Welcome to the Mr. Shades Show. That was the brand new intro. How'd you think of that? We branded a little bit. If you notice, the background's a little different. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start off with something new. This is called Pit People. I've had this recommended to me for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it. Oh, boy. Okay. I have no idea what this game is. No idea whatsoever. So this should be, to say the least, interesting. So I gotta get my timer going because I'm an idiot and I didn't start that. I'm very familiar with these ga with the developer of the, this game because uh, I used to play uh, Castle Crashes a lot back in the day. So. I'm sorry, I'm just listening to this. This is crazy. Because it sounded boring, and I hate being bored. I can't imagine a world without the bear, or the storm, the ache, the frog. Beautiful waves of emerald blood cry down from the heavens, promising death. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is this? What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Uh, it's Horatio, the humble blueberry farmer, yep. loving father, and the most boring creature on the face of this planet. But what's this? Those Looks blueberries like are giant. Situation on your hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's been nice knowing you, Horatio. Not really, but now it's time for you to die. Yes. How exciting. Not for you, of course. <laughs> Guys, here's that juicy new family I told you about. What? Quick, the storm's coming. Kill the farmer, eat the child, and take the house. Huh. <laughs> you stay away from my family. You don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> Fight. Okay, my initial thought of this game was that there would be some pit and some people. I wasn't wrong about the people part. But I have yet to see a pit. Right then. Oh, a little framey here. <laughs> Let's go! Kek his ass. One shot. I said Horatio died. <laughs> it doesn't seem like I'm not <laughs> like Horatio's dying. Go for it, Horatio. Get in there, kill him! Oh, didn't kill that one. The bear blood is getting worse. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> oh shit, I skipped something. Shit. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's so silly. Oops! Butterfingers! <laughs> okay, this is... Oh, he's gotta go somewhere, huh? Oh, that's... That's on you, buddy. That sounds like a you kind of problem now. Yeah, you keep running. I'll keep chasing. You do you, buddy. Get him! In a stupid look on his face, <laughs> Horatio set out to find some shelter, burdened with the realization that none of this would have happened had he listened. And to make matters worse, he's got weak arms, and he's not all that <laughs> handsome. I don't see what all the fuss is about. But all of this will haunt him until I decide to end his misery. What fun. What? <laughs> I mean, handful of blueberries and stupid look on my face. Sounds like me. 
on a good day. <laughs> this game, holy shit. It's definitely different from uh, Castle Crashers and um, uh, Battle Block Theater was the other one they did, I believe. Both games that I actually really love. It's not a trap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's like five shelters. <laughs> I don't think Horatio has baby arms. That sword is hitting the king directly in the face and doing nothing. And <laughs> that dude just took a picture. <laughs> what? When you, this is like the the video game version of when the when you're playing Dungeons and Dragons and some dude one of the party members just doesn't care about your plot about the DM's plot at all. This is like exactly what's happening. Okay, so now we have a the one with the mustache told me you guys are stupid and weak. I don't know why he'd say that. <laughs> Holy shit, we're getting beat up here. Okay. The what? Another cutscene in between a turn? What is this? <laughs> King. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? Like... <laughs> Throws are weak against some, it's strong. Right. I mean, I'll move him in, I guess. Do some backup damage. Or is he moving? Yeah. So basically, we need to crack some kind of helmet here. That's a lot of arrows happening there. Okay, so she needs to... Oh, no, it's Horatio's turn. Actually, I'm gonna move him here to defend her. Shit. Yeah, that's better. She can take that, and then he can block all the arrows. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. He just stays there. Uh, she... Oh fuck, do I have to? No, I don't have to move him. There. That way he can stay there and take the arrows because of his picket fence shield. Which, when you think about it, and I know it's not something you should do when playing a game like this, but when you think about it, those arrows are going right through that shield. I. Uh, yeah. He, uh, it's all good. Boom! Clubbed him. Just keep taking it, Horatio. You magnificent bastard. Yeah, you just stay there, Horatio. This is working amazingly well. Go for it! Killed a few of my hel helmet, 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 helmet. Oh, helmetites. Okay, I was. That, that was. That's weird. Castles destroyed. Mission success. We need extraction. This isn't over yet, cowards. <laughs> what? Are you upset? I am so confused because this is like. It is, it's a fantasy, but is it like post-apocalyptic or something? 
Oh shit, the king. Yeah. Oh, I, I was really thinking she was going to like ditch the hat and put on the crown. Helms forever. Oh, thanks for that uh, image. We didn't know what was going on there at all. Okay. With her castle in ruins and a very dead daddy, Pipistrella accompanies Captain Worthless. And what a woman. Her optimistic outlook and reckless bravery captivated Horatio. So much, in fact, that he immediately forgot about his son and his home and... Yes, you did. <laughs> I see. Horatio gave Pipistrella the remainder of his blueberries and they headed what for the, the city. The perfect fuck? place to recuperate and make plans for Horatio's inevitable failure and death. Plus, there's a pretty good restaurant there that has great beef stew and cornbread. This game is just so much what the fuck is happening that I can't... I couldn't possibly do this all in, like, one go. There's only so much stupid you can handle in a day. And I've hit my quota with this. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and I hope you enjoy the new setup I have. The... With the intro, outro, and the formatting and stuff. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later.